Okay, so you bought the LG Cord Zero. You want to see how it performs? Well, that's what this video is all about. Stay tuned. We're going to do a full test on hardwood surfaces as well as carpeting. Thanks for tuning into our review channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into the test. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into your review channel. We're doing a full test on the Cord Zero by LG. Uh, so we're doing a test. We have hardwood floors here, and this is the hardwood floor brush. We have the sun, so you can see the hardwood floor brush here. And we're doing a full test. We get this is totally empty. This is all brand new. And we're just doing a full test and just to see how it works on hardwood floors. And then we're going to do a test on how it works on carpet. So let's first start on the hardwood floors and let's see how it goes. Let's, let's get it going. Turn it up. Where's turbo? And that's normal. First off, it's very easy to handle. Like I tell you, the, it swivels really nice. It really moves nicely. It's not too loud either. I do like that. Let's see if we can lower it. Turbo and regular. See right here? That's your turbo. And that's your regular. And this is your power indicator here. Again, there's our removable batteries. Each one of these batteries is approximately 40 minutes of runtime on normal use. So with two batteries, that gives you the 80 minutes. So that's how that kind of works. So I'm just going around with this brush, this special brush for hardwood floors, and just to see what we end up with. So, and I'm doing it with my left hand, so it's kind of weird and I'm shooting with, holding the camera with my right, so you know. So I'm just going around the floor, and I just want to see what we pick up. Any dust, any dirt. Floors, but it's fairly clean, but I just wanted to see how it performs. Really, the carpet test is really going to be the really big deal. Let's go down here. If you guys have any questions or comments, if you have the, this cordless stack by LG, uh, leave some comments below. Tell me what you think, if you use it, and how you feel about it. Let's see if we have anything so far. Let's continue down here. So far, it's, it's not too, too heavy. It's a little bit heavier than the Dyson on this end here. So I'm feeling it a little bit on my back a little bit. Because of that battery, I think it's a little oversized battery, so you do get a little bit more weight on, on holding it on the vacuum up. But the performance itself, it's it feels very, very solid. Unlike the Dyson, it can be a little, I don't know, a little weak, a little plasticky. Sometimes he doesn't really, you lose some suction between the gap of the of the actual vacuum itself sometimes between the, the um, plastic part and the handle. Let's go in here. And now we're just going to here. This is the so it went from bathroom right over the thing. And I'm in the bathroom now. I'm just going over some sections here. Let's see. Over here. Go back here. It's very quiet, I have to tell you. It's a little bit quiet. I like it. it sounds very quiet. And I'm going right over the threshold like that, and it goes right over. From, from solid surface to solid surface is not a problem with trans transition. Right over it. Very, very easy. You can see that. Okay, guys, let's stop it right now. Okay, so let's stop that. Let's see what we have in the, in the bin. Let's take a look at this together. Like I said, it wasn't that dirty here, but you can see it did pick up a lot of dust here. You can see some dust, not a ton, but again, it wasn't very dirty up here. But this is the test here, just going around, and you can see the dust, okay? So let's close that up, and let's just pick up this dust here with this, and just see how it works with one pass. We'll put it on normal. And look at that, one pass, and that's awesome. And that's the power of that, that brush. That brush is really awesome. Let's take a look at that brush together. Let's see how that works. So you can see that brush turning. So you can see that brush just turning right around there. It just spins it right around. It just swoop, it basically swoops everything up and sucks it right in. This is a really, really nice for hardwood floors, tile, any solid surface. This thing does a great job of that. You can't beat that and Dyson doesn't do that. All right, let's continue the, to carpeting and see how it performs with the carpet. Hey guys, do appreciate you tuning in as always. If you're enjoying the review, please don't forget to subscribe. It does help support my channel. I do appreciate that and I hope you're enjoying the review. Let's get back to the video. Okay guys, we're back with the test. We're working 
uh, with the LG vacuum. It's a, I tell you, I like the feel of the vacuum. It's really, really cool, the Cord Zero. I like it, it's very solid. So we put on the beta brush, and let's take a look at the beta brush first before we start. So you can see that spinning. You can hear that. This thing is moving pretty good, pretty smooth. I do like that. You can feel the, you can feel the vacuum, the, the suction feels pretty good. I don't have a lot of technical specs like a lot of the other guys. I just basically want to know if it picks up the dirt and how the rug looks and how much dirt's in the canister. So that feels pretty good to me. That's my technical specs on that. Let's just vacuum this up and see how we do and let's get an idea on how, we, how this carpet performs. So feeling it on the carpet feels pretty good so far. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, leave below. If you guys have this vacuum, let me know how it's working for you. I'm always a Dyson fan for, for a long time, but I wanted to get something a little different, a little bit better quality. And I tell you right now, from what I'm seeing, it's picking up the stuff pretty quickly on the first pass. Um, Dyson doesn't always do that. I'm telling you, I'm having some trouble with it. So we're looking to replace it. And I think this vacuum here, not to say, makes nice lines. I hope you can see the line. The lines are really cool. This is a true review of, um, I love to do the vacuuming. I like all the technology and the gadgets and all that kind of stuff. I think most guys do. So this is kind of cool. So let's see. So it's gliding pretty good. I do like the quality of the glide. I mean, it feels really good. It feels like it's doing a nice job cleaning this floor. Now, if you guys are enjoying the review, please don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe. It does help support my channel and helps me do what I do. And I hope I bring some value to you so you can make great decisions when it comes to buying your purchases and your items. And that's what it's all about. We're all here to help each other. And I love vacuuming, so, so let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so I did about a half a rug. I just want to see. And this wasn't take too long. I tell you, well, not too much. It's on regular speed. It's not on high. Let's do one on high and see how that feels. So now I have it on high. Uh, it's a little bit harder to push. I can feel that suction is really, really creating some serious suction. I can just feel it. It's definitely more difficult to push this. So if you have a bad back or a bad hips or whatever, it's going to be difficult to keep doing this. So we're going to put it back on regular speed. Okay, the battery power did go down by one. So it was three, now it's down to two. Don't forget, we do have those two batteries that you can replace. So if it dies on you, and the other one's charging. And that's a great thing. So the other one's charging while you're using this one. You can't beat that. All right, guys. Half a carpet. Let's take a look at this. Let's empty this out and see how much dirt we have. Uh, before we go ahead and empty it out, what I want to let you know is that also you can just attach it directly right to the vacuum, the power head, and you can do stairs. Really, really easy. So you just basically turn it on, and it's really simple to do stairs. You can do your car. Um, the power head's bigger than the Dyson. They have, the, they have a small one for the car, but I actually like the bigger power head, so it does a faster job. It works great on carpeting, as you can see here. So it just it's just so smooth and so easy. I do like the way it just fits. And, and then to do a side tread, you can see here, it does the whole tread. So it's a nice, um, you can just go back and forth real easy. Okay, let's get into emptying this bucket out. Let's take a look at it and see how much we have in the bucket. Okay, guys, so here's the first yield. Okay, they're here. Hope you can see that. And I'm emptying out the second bucket. And here we go. Take a look what we have here. Wow. I tell you, it's pretty, pretty full. And this whole thing comes right out. So let me just show you that. So let me show you. So this thing is pretty full. So that's the first half of the rug. And this is the second half, which we have much more space, much more um, area to vacuum. And you can see they picked up a ton of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff in here as well. So this comes off, this thing twists off, let me just show you. This twists off, and this comes right out. Then you can just take that off there, just take off the hair, take off any of the dirt and dust. This just comes right off. You can wash this in the water, and then when you're done with that, you just put it right back in here, it just pops right back in. Real super easy. So that goes right back in there like that. And you close the door. So here we go. Vacuuming the carpet. You be the judge. Any questions or comments, leave below. What do you think? How did this thing perform? I think it actually worked pretty well, I have to tell you. I'm pretty happy with the test. I have to tell you, this is a nice vacuum. I'm very happy so far. I think it's a good vacuum. Time will tell. What do you guys think? Any questions or comments, leave below.
Okay, guys, so that's it for me. Um, this test is pretty much done. You can see the proof is in the pudding, and there's the pudding on the floor. All right, guys, if you have any questions at all, please uh, leave uh, below. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. It does help my channel. I do appreciate that, as always. And that's it for me, guys. I'll see you at the next review.